Welcome to the Sandridge Energy Studios at Opubco. I'm Angie Bruss, and this is News OK TV for Monday, March 12, 2012. Thanks so much for joining me. 200 Oklahoma National Guard members returned to the state on Monday. Members of the 45th Infantry Brigade served a nine-month deployment in Afghanistan. The group's arrival will be followed on Tuesday with the return of more soldiers. Nearly 2,200 Oklahoma Army National Guardsmen were deployed in June, while another 800 soldiers were sent to Kuwait. More than half of the brigade is still serving overseas, but those members are expected to return to Oklahoma in the coming weeks. Well, the National Center for Employee Development is opening its doors to a wider group of clients. The high-tech training center and hotel mainly cater to the U.S. Postal Service employees from across the country. However, the facility has seen a declining postal service demand for the full-service hotel. Now, the training center is looking to branch out. The facility can offer training courses to other fields, such as classes in heating and air, roof repair, welding, and it even has an elevator school. Well, Stillwater crews are breaking ground on Oklahoma State's Athletic Village. Work has begun on the Sherman Smith Training Center, an indoor practice facility, which makes up a large portion of the village. The center, located just north of the Boone Pickens Stadiums, should be complete by January. The facility will be used for conditioning during the winter months and in bouts of bad weather. It will include a full-sized soccer field, which could also be used for football practice. The price tag for the new training center is $19 million. Well, more than 500 Metro homeowners will receive a rebate for installing a storm shelter. Oklahoma City officials will notify the residents who are receiving the rebates of up to $2,000. The rebates are funded through a federal grant. Get ready for a warm up. We'll see highs in the mid 70s and even 80s in some parts of the Sooner State on Monday. The warming trend will continue through the work week. The chance for rain increases on Tuesday as low level moisture increases ahead of a series of storm systems to the west. Oklahoma City received about 1.7 inches of rain over the last few days. While areas like Mount Hermon saw a little more than 4 inches, areas like Broken Bow and Ringling received close to 3 inches. Which is great news. We definitely need that. All right. Well, you guys have a great Monday.